our second button, we're going to create the flower button right here. This is very similar to the basic button, and we'll use the skills that we learned making that first button. To get here, again, make sure you go to Learn on your menu bar at the top. On the Learn page, click Lessons, and then click Show All Lessons. I'm going to click on Flower button, and I'm going to restart this because I was already doing it before for another class. If you have not done it before, you won't need to restart it. And then I'm going to click Flower button right here to begin. Just like before, we'll have our directions on the left-hand side, our work plane in the middle, and our tools on the right. First step, drag a cylinder to the work plane. So I'm going to come get my cylinder. I'm going to drag it over and stick it inside. And if I don't get close enough, I can use my arrow keys to move it in smaller amounts to get it right where I need it. I'm going to click Next to go to the next step. Just like our first button, we're going to scale the size from the height down to 2 millimeters and our diameter to 6 millimeters. So I'm going to come up here and do my height first. I'm going to click on this little square on the top of the cylinder. And we want a 2 millimeter height. For my diameter, it wants 6 millimeters. So I'm going to click on my corner square, enter 6, click enter six and perfect. Now it's super tiny right now. I can scroll in a little bit to see a little bit better or scroll out again to get a wider view. I'm going to click next and it wants me to copy and paste and place it in the area outlined in orange. So I'm going to rotate my screen a little so we can see this a bit better. To copy and paste, I want to make sure I have this circle selected first. And then I can either use my copy and paste buttons, or with one click, I can use my duplicate button. So I'm going to click duplicate, and it made a second copy. I'm going to use my arrow on my keyboard to move that up a little bit into the new shape. So now I have my two circles overlapping. I'm going to click Next, and it says repeat this process again to make the shape look like a flower. So we're going to copy and paste another cylinder, move it to the area outlined in orange. So I already have one selected. I'm going to click Duplicate again, and again use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it into the circle shape. Duplicate. Use my arrow keys to move it to the next circular area. Duplicate. Arrow keys to move it. Duplicate one more time. And arrow keys to move it. So now I have this kind of flower shape right here. I'm going to click Next. And it wants me to drag another cylinder to the work plane. And most importantly, make it a hole. So I have my orange cylinder shape here. I'm going to drag another cylinder over from my tools. And I want to come up here on my shape menu here and make sure I click hole. Once it turns gray, I know it's ready to go. Now the next step says scale it smaller to a diameter of two millimeters. I'm going to rotate my work plane a little so I can see the side a bit better. I'm not changing the height. We're leaving that at 20. But I'm going to come over here to a corner circle to change the width or diameter of my circle. And I'm going to come over here and make that 2 millimeters. Second number, 2 millimeters. So I get my long, tall, skinny cylinder. And I'm going to move it to the area marked on my little flower button here. So I'm going to move it over, put it inside that area, and click Next. I'm going to copy and paste the hole, move it to the other orange area. So again, I'm going to come up and click Duplicate, and then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move it into place. 
Remember, you can use your little box up here to rotate around and get a better idea and see if things are where they need to be and get it as close as possible. Once you're happy with it, click Next. And the last step again, we have to combine all of these shapes and group them together. So I'm going to make my mouse come up here, hold my button down and draw a box over all of them. And once I do that, here's my group button that's now active. I have eight shapes selected and I'm going to click group. It's going to combine them all into one shape and now I have my finished flower button. I'm gonna click next. And again, make sure you pause here and take your screenshot. After you take your screenshot, you're going to click done go back to the project page and on the project page, click back to projects to go back to the main project page.